Hello there. Now I'm gonna teach you how to create a Etsy planner using your um, desktop. So um, first things first, I want you to choose any browser you want because personally I'm, I'm using Microsoft Edge and actually this is my favorite among the rest. So if you want to choose Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox or even Opera, it's perfectly fine, okay? So if you're here and you already launched your browser, I want you to search up etsy.com it should be this one right here and this is, should be your landing page from here let's sign in and it's gonna ask us for our email or password since um, this is our first time and I suppose this is also your first time on Etsy let's create an account okay however if this is not your first time just log in your email and password so you can uh, log in already anyway on my end I can just choose register over here it will give me an email address um, first name and password and please take note you should use an active email address for this one because I am really sure that Etsy will send a verification code to your email address to approve um, that uh, account creation in some cases if you don't want to create this uh, account this way you can always choose uh, continue with Google or continue on Facebook or even Apple personally I'm just gonna choose continue on Facebook because I really don't want to use my Google account on such site because I don't use that that much anymore let me just click continue as uh, and recall my Facebook account now from here I have already created an Etsy account it's that simple now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our account and purchase reviews or sell Etsy or offer something like that so we're gonna go on sell on Etsy please choose that one then click on get started so from here it's gonna ask you that we're so excited to help you bring shop to your life or something like that because technically Etsy is an online shop okay we're gonna make our online shop here so let's do this from here um, it's gonna ask you what brings us here or how he can or she can help us with our business so we can just click whatever we have here so Etsy can generate a specific guideline for us so on my I'm just gonna click the first one I'm just starting to sell for the first time ever or you can also skip the question but for me um i suggest you choose one here so as can help you click on next so um is there anything else you'd like to help with just choose um deciding what to sell shopping name brand something like that just choose whatever you want here or whichever suits you best let's just click on that one you can also skip okay so again start your shop and this should be our landing page so personally it will have a shop language shop country and shop currency so in general um i think the majority should click on english as this is the majority of the language of the um, world so however if you have a prefer language please choose on it however on my end i'm going to choose english and since this is my country uh philippines i'm going to choose philippines and of course currency should be philippine peso please choose the right one you have on your area because you might have or run into trouble or interference if you choose another country and currency rather than the one you have right now okay so let's save and continue so it's gonna ask us to name our shop let me just name my shop uh, this one Les 3 or Les 3 shop something like that okay it doesn't want special character so there shouldn't be a, sh a space on it I'm sorry about that so let's save and continue now from here it's asking us to create a listing so a listing is technically a post on Etsy they call it listing this is the one that we sell so to create an Etsy planner since we're gonna display it on Etsy we can use any third-party app you can use any, any editor or any app software you ask so just upload the final product here and you should be good to go However, since um, I'm going to teach you how, personally, I'm using Canva. And just search at canva.com over here. And then this should be your landing page. And actually, I'm already logged in. Just log into your account. And you can also use your Google account here as the one earlier. Or continue as Google or Facebook. Whichever you choose should be okay, okay? Now, let's say you're already logged in here and it has a lot of contemplate here let's just click a new page here so you can see now from here you can already um 
search up templates for example we're gonna create a planner right we can search up planner here weekly daily monthly let's just go for daily first so there's a lot of templates here and please take note there are icons here with the crown on top that means this is for canva pro which requires a subscription and if there's subscriptions of course there is a payment involved however there is also a lot of good things here that doesn't require canva pro let's go on, uh, let's check them out for example let's check this one out the very first one is this uh, template let's apply all three pages so from page one to three this should be a template this is my planner as of now it is a default planner from canva this is the one that canva made you can also use this one just edit it whatever you please for example this one let's call it Lester shop the one that i have earlier right you can move it here resize it or something like that this is actually the design if you want to resize, uh, design the text let's name it Lestish shop something like that and then just click on the side one over there so you can name it let me just remove the um, my life under so you can personally see it give me a second here so as you can see now it personally shows Lester shop you can do however you please here edit however you please and just upload this um, content to Etsy now how about we try doing manually okay just a little bit um example for manually creating a template how can we do that let's just go back to the home page and from here we're gonna look for a blank template it should be uh, this one right here it should be called a4 give me a second here let's look for it now there should be a blank one here let me see give me a second here uh, there you go create this one right here in the top part top right part is gonna create the design click on it and it's gonna ask you what kind or what type of document we're gonna create it has a document a whiteboard Instagram story YouTube banner YouTube thumbnail presentation and so on and so forth since we're gonna create a simple blank planner let's click on a for document now from here it will give us this blank document let's just create from scratch we're not gonna use the template or somewhat let's just click on this one and choose a color it's just gonna be a default color here whatever you please and from here let's insert the text you can actually choose whatever font you want here for example this is the one that I want and then just edit it double click the design or the text you can edit it by itself for example let's call it planner perfect now under planner you can also add elements here to be honest um the only limit here is your imagination so for example this one let me color this um beige uh, brown something like that and create the transparency to low so the text won't be that hard to read for example this one perfect now over here I can also create shapes let's look for heart there you go heart and then to see it properly let's call it color it red perfect now since we're creating planner how about we make two hearts one for Monday one for Tuesday how can we make a heart without searching it up here I suggest you just press the control C and then control V that should duplicate the heart and to enter a text you can just click text choose whatever um, default text here or just have a regular one at the text box and just click on Monday reposition it or resize it whatever you please actually perfect now you can uh, change the font size on the top uh, toolbox over here increase the font size now there's also an option here without clicking at the text box to make another text just again control V I'm uh, sorry control C and control V from here you can create 
this one as Tuesday. Perfect. Now, I am going to teach you a technique here. For example, we're already satisfied as this design on our front cover. Let's add two pages here. And since this is our Monday, let's say, let me just create a title here for Monday. This is the um, technique that I'm going to teach you. Monday and then another here for Tuesday. Please take note, okay? So right I did this, I just created two extra pages for Monday and Tuesday right here. So from here, we can already save it if you're satisfied from here. However, since I'm going to take you an extra mile with this uh, secret technique I'm going to teach you. What if we want that this button right here, this heart shape Monday to be linked on this page 2 with this Monday and Tuesday to be linked on Tuesday or page 3. How can we do that? You can also right click from here and then add a link here or you can check the three dots on the top right. Give me a second here, I'm going to look for it. Okay, as of now I'm having trouble looking for it. Let's just um, right click this one and click link. So it's going to ask us which link are we going to link on this image. So since this is Monday, let's look for Monday which is page 2. Click on done. And then for Tuesday, right click again, link. And link Tuesday which is page 3. And click on done. Now it's linked. Let's just check. Download it. Again, how did I do that? On the top part, there's a share button. Click on it. Click on download. And then click on all three pages. So from here, it's going to ask us, looks like you have links on your design as we did earlier. For the links to work, please choose PDF. Perfect. Since it's asking us to choose PDF, please change your file type to PDF. Because if you choose PNG or JPEG, those links aren't going to work. So for them to work, just click on PDF, click on download, and wait for it to finish downloading. And easy as that, it's finished downloading. Let's check the file. This is the planner we made. Now this is the trick I'm asking you, I'm telling you earlier. So for clicking Monday, it will redirect us to Monday. And when clicking Tuesday, it will redirect us to Tuesday. Now with this um, profile, or with this output, or with this PDF, we can input this over here. Add the photo, click on downloads, and just let's look for that PDF, okay? Now give me a second, I'm gonna look for it. So it's gonna be in here. You can add the photo here, add the video or something like that, and just post it from here and out. Now, it's not uh, checking because it is a PDF view. If you want to upload it, it should be on JPEG. So how do we do that? We're going to convert first PDF to JPEG. From here, we're going to select a PDF file we want to convert. And convert to JPEG. Give it a second to load. Download JPEG images. Perfect. It's going to come out as a zip file. And let's just extract everything to whichever uh, place you want to extract them. Perfect. Now let's go back to Etsy, add a photo, go to the location where we um, extracted the files, click on this one, and adjust thumbnail. You can adjust it here, add a video, whichever you choose. Now let's just save and continue to see the final output. Now it's asking us to put a price. So let's just say I'm going to uh, price this template $8 or 8 peso. So, as you can see here, it, it's not allowing us to price it at 8 peso because Etsy knows the price of what you did. That's what I love about Etsy. So, let's just say 11.7 peso to 2 million 900 something. Let's just price it at 20 peso. Click save and continue. Give it a second. It's asking us for this info right here. Let's just name it Les3. Who made it? Um, I did. What is it? A finished product. When did you make it? Um, it's going to be this one. The most recent one. Category. Please choose a category. Let's just say a photo. 
art and collectibles, digital prints, something like that. Whatever you choose here, let's make sure everything is filled up here. Description, let's just say um, planner. And from here, um, this is going to be the address. Give it a second. Pricing time, one business day. Just choose whatever you want here so we can see the final product. Give it a second to load, and there you go. You're one step closer to your first sale, considering adding a few more things, which is getting us paid. We can do this later. Now, this is the part where, personally, you choose whatever card or whatever payment method you're going to put here. So I think um, we can end it up here. Just switch to whatever billing payment or billing method you want to add here. And just add it and then it's done it's already posted on your etsy page that etsy planner okay and that's how you create an etsy planner using your desktop please hit the like button and subscribe thank you